I'm Leif Steiner. I'm a photographer. I live in Boulder, Colorado. I worked for 20 years in the advertising industry. I started an agency. I absolutely loved the creative industry, loved our clients, uh, loved the thrill of it. But after 20 years, I decided life is short and it was time to do something entirely new. I handed over the keys to my agency to four people who now own it and um, left with a little bit of money and this is what I'm pursuing. I don't have a lot of background in photography, but within the creative industry, my job was as a creative director. So I, uh, I think I developed an eye, I developed uh, a sense of problem solving, I developed opinions on style, opinions on a lot of things that easily can be applied to photography. Photography for me is capturing a moment in time that may never, may never exist again. When I was a little kid, I was in the woods and my brother and I were digging in a pile of old, old garbage. We dug up a, an old daguerreotype I'm certain it was from the 1800s. It was on glass and we put some black fabric behind it and you can see this image. That person, whoever was in this photo, long gone. I love the fact that, that this photo existed long after that person's lifetime. I love that I found an image just in the ground that was still like a little window into another world. All these pictures that we take that seem so mundane right now become little like moments in time that a future generation can look back and see our world and understand our world. There's something magical about photography. Shooting with a phase one, it's the only camera I can imagine shooting with. The quality, the resolution, the ability to capture what's in my mind um, far surpasses anything I can accomplish with any other camera. Every photographer has their own style, every photographer has their own needs, but for me, phase one is the only camera that can capture portraits the way I want to capture them. I have been able to shoot images that I know that I will never need to reshoot, no matter what camera comes out. I was working with a printer last fall who does fine art printing, and he was looking at my files, and he's like, wow, this camera has infinite resolution. It's amazing when you're working with someone who prints very, very high-end fine art photography, looking at your files and, and just being blown away by the detail, the tonal ranges, the ability to capture detail in the highlights, the ability to pull detail out of the shadows. I love that particular image for a few reasons. It's a very straightforward photo. It's a photo of a man standing there but he encapsulates everything I love about this project and everything I love about travel, experiencing different cultures, and just like our shared humanity is like a, as a world. That man, that particular man, didn't know what countries were. Um, he didn't know what an ocean was. He lives uh, very much kind of at one with the earth. For all intents and purposes, he's zero waste. I asked him what he thought of my world versus his world. And his answer was, long after, long after you're gone, we will still be here. As we are slowly degrading our environment, slowly degrading the planet around us, in his little corner of the planet, they're living very harmoniously. And it's quite possible that he's correct, that long after the rest of us are gone, he'll still be there. They will still be there. I love it. It's very poetic. When I'm 85 years old, I want to look back and and say it was a life worth living. And I wanna look back and say, I contributed something to this world, whether it's small or large. I wanna feel like I didn't just take away from the planet. I wanna feel like I maybe moved the ball forward an inch or two. And photography to me is the vehicle to do that. Maybe after I'm gone, maybe after I'm long gone, a few of my images will live past my lifespan and maybe just be a little window into a world that no longer exists.